Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is video three in uh, Michael's Room series. And if you remember in video one, we treated the front wall and the primary reflection. In video two, we treated the side walls. Now in video three here, we're gonna treat the rear walls. And then we're gonna talk about, you know, the impact that we had for uh, treating the rear wall. So in all of these videos in this whole series, We've taken Michael's room and we've broken it up into parts, the front wall, side walls, and the rear wall, because these are the surface areas that you have to treat. So we've done it in a step-by-step -step basis and part one, part two, part three of Michael's room in this series. So part three is the rear wall. Well, those are the three reflections. Remember, primary, secondary, and tertiary that we have to look at. Then if you look over our shoulders, that's the rear wall. So we put four panels in the rear wall. Now, behind those panels is the kitchen. It's an open floor plan. So the kitchen is back there and, and the dining area. So we put the panels up. We just leaned them against the chair. But the first thing I noticed with the rear wall is that I was able to hear more of what was in front of me. Not necessarily more that was behind me, but more that was in front of me. And, I, and the reason for that is when you get rid of that rear wall reflection, and mix engineers know this for sure, the minute you get rid of that rear wall reflection, everything in the front of the house cleans up. And it makes sense because the reflections are striking the rear wall and then washing over everything that you're doing in the room. So if you have the direct energy coming out of the front of the house, so to speak, then you have this big wash of reflected energy from the rear wall. You got this and you got this, you got this, you got this. You know, it, it's, it's too phasey. So when you minimize or uh, eliminate, or reduce that reflection's time signature off the rear wall, slow it down, it's gonna come, but you slow it down so the direct energy gets first to you and uh, it's amazing how each surface has a huge impact absolutely this is what customers tell me when they get a, a big change a big acoustical change in their room they go back and listen to all their favorite stuff oh yeah absolutely I feel like I can <laughs> I can just go ahead and listen to my entire music collection all over again and it will sound like uh, it will sound like they're all new recordings because there's just so much more to hear now. There's just so much more detail and and it just sounds so much more natural and beautiful. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a lot of time listening. And right now we're in the midst of the coronavirus plague, so it's a good time to stay home and just enjoy the things that you have. Absolutely. Yeah, well, it, it's it's a nice it's a nice sounding room. Now, the next uh, step for us is we're going to introduce a, another line of our products, and we're going to uh, I redesigned our carbon speaker stand, so we've got five speaker stands coming, and we're going to do something that you all should really think about at home with your small home theater rigs. We're going to take the center channel speaker out of the cabinet. It never was supposed to be there in the first place. We're going to take it out of the cabinet. We're going to raise it up into the same sound field as the left and the right channel. And we're going to raise all our video up also. But that'll be a, a video for another uh, sequence. But it's very, you know, when I first saw home theater systems come out, I started seeing, you know, this center channel situation and I started seeing it on the floor. <laughs> I started seeing it in a cabinet. My very first one was behind the TV. Well, there you <laughs> go. That's interesting. So, you know, and I'm like, well, it's it can't be in any of those places. You can't. It's got to be in the same sound field as the left and the right channel. So we're going to experiment with that. You're going to be able to see that too. And then finally, at the very end, uh, probably in about six months or so, because I want to give Michael a chance to, you know, this is all pretty new. We'll be next week. It'll be all finished. Give him a chance to live with things for two, three, four months. And then 
we'll come in and we'll put diffusion on the rear wall and we'll do a video about that so that'll be pretty cool uh, to listen to too so it's been great for us at acoustic fields because you know michael's not really an audiophile he just loves music and he loved his system his ars and his speakers are wonderful these are great little monitors and uh first thing i noticed about was the the speakers and then um to be able to then treat the room and let him listen and and listen to the changes and, and make the observations that we've gone through today it's great it's great and you know michael has maybe a fifteen hundred two thousand dollar system to start now i don't know what the exact numbers are going to come out to but we'll we'll put them up on the screen but we're going to add a new receiver uh next uh sequence uh, we're going to get uh, the subwoofer stand in and we're going to do a video on how the subwoofer changed the location changed from against the wall to out into the room more next to the couch we've got our subwoofer platform we got our speaker platforms coming and then um, we'll do a, a video on that too so it's going to be a sequence of, of things but anything else you want to add yeah like i said earlier um i've always loved listening to music and um it's always been a big part of my life um, i'm one of those people that actually sit down and listen to an entire album i know most people don't do that anymore these days and, tell them um, that story you were telling me when you were younger and you would go into the record store and you just wanted the soundtrack <laughs> and they didn't want to sell it to you because they thought you were confused. Yes, I'm a child of the Star Wars era and um, I've always loved big symphonic film scores. And when I was a kid, maybe 10 years old, I went to a record store to buy a movie soundtrack. And um, the person that worked at the record store, they actually tried to persuade me not to buy it. They were like, you know, that's just the music, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> so, and... Um, to this day, I still enjoy listening to this kind of music and you need to have a good system and a good room to enjoy this kind of music because it's very layered, it's very detailed. And um, what I found myself doing since the improvements that Dennis made, um, I just, certain days, I just can't wait to get home and, you know, spend an hour just listening to music. I actually look forward to it. And um, now with the uh, coronavirus pandemic going on, um, it's actually perfect timing for me to just sit at home and enjoy my music and um, reap the benefits of Dennis's wonderful products. Yeah, it's good. It's good if you don't have your own room, a dedicated room. A lot of my clients do, a uh, lot don't. Um, we actually kind of quit doing these multiple usage rooms where you're living and listening in the same room because people aren't really willing to give up the space requirements to treat acoustically. And uh, we always have the wife acceptance factor that we have to uh, be concerned about as illustrated in the following video. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the bottom line here is we we can move it out we can move it in we can move it out their panels are lightweight maybe 15 pounds a piece something like that and uh, they can move some of them out you know leave some of them in. leave you know? some of them in yeah well there you go just how's that there's the testimonial just, right there just for... just adding a few panels at a time you can hear the difference how it gets better and better with each panel almost yeah so um even if you don't have them all in there just having a few it helps and it it just makes the music so much more enjoyable yeah so this is our first video or it's a pretty long video. <laughs> I'll we'll, edit it. <laughs> we'll have to do some editing on this one, but uh, it's going to be a whole series. It's called Michael's Room, and we take Michael, who's been our photographer for years, and uh, 
introduce him to room acoustic treatment. And in the meantime, punch up the quality level of his electronics. So, you know, it's it's new kind of new electronics, keeping the good speakers, new cables, new electronics, uh, new subwoofer, and then, you know, uh, do a series of videos on the improvement. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.